All right, Steve, thank you. Well, for days now, the valley stuck under a layer of fog and overcast blank blanketing the region, including farmlands and ag areas. Your reporter covering San Joaquin County, Charlie Lepastora, getting answers on how the fog may be affecting farmers. San Joaquin County relies heavily on its agricultural industry. So with this recent fog, I spoke with an agricultural expert getting answers on the fog's impact with farming. You want everybody to be careful uh, when they're getting the work done. With dense fog permeating different areas throughout Northern California, it's affected visibility on the roads and on agricultural land. Some people forget that farming is one of the most dangerous occupations there is. Some of that is because you know, it's outside and it can be cold and damp and, as you say, foggy and hard to see what's going on. The fog's been dense and, while maybe inconvenient, it's also essential for crops. Fog this time of the year is real normal and okay. it, it less normal uh, in the last decade or so. When we don't have enough fog, that often might mean it's a little too warm and, and that is a disadvantage. So we don't need freezing time, but we need do need uh, several hundred hours during the winter below about 40 or 45 degrees or so. These are called chill hours, which Sumner says is crucial, especially for tree crops. Uh, to take account of fog uh, this time of year, and it provides moisture. And in fact, uh, having it be cool is just what they need to, to set their buds for next year. San Joaquin County houses a multi-billion dollar agriculture industry. Sumner says farmers know what they're doing even amidst the fog. It's right in the middle of the Central Valley and that's important for lots of crops. The other thing for San Joaquin County is it's in the middle of, of the road system and, and getting crops out to port, out, out of the ports <laughs> and into right. the world markets. Sumner also told me that San Joaquin County actually needs a little more moisture with less rain so far in December and that those misty mornings, though may be inconvenient on your morning commute, are actually good for crops.